That was such a chill song. I had to just take a minute and vibe to that, dude. <laughs> that was what well, that was by Harris Heller, right? Yeah. It was by Harris Heller. What a good song. It was so nice and chill. I have to listen to that more often. But anyway, hi! I hope you guys are doing okay. Hope your Thursday is going okay. Oh, I'm a bit tired because yesterday went a little late. But I'm excited to play Genshin today because, for those who don't know, uh, there's going to be a new update soon. And there's going to be two story quests that are going to be added. And one has what seems to be another weekly boss, I'm assuming. And I want to be able to unlock that fairly quickly. But in order to do that, the quests are going to be... They have a prerequisite, which one of the, which is the Raiden Shogun's first character story quest, which I haven't done yet. It was like next on the list, so this is like perfect timing, because I think I, I think I just finished Hu Tao, which I've had for like the longest time, and now I just have the Inazuma character story quests. So the fact that there was a boss coming out and I was basically at the Inazuma story quest, it was great. It worked out pretty well. So for, the, for today, the plan is I'm going to do dailies, as I usually do. I usually do dailies. And then we'll just hop right into the story quest. I don't know how long it is. And there's part of me that's like, oh, but if you're filling up to it, maybe I could do another story quest after, which would be great, because then I could get through the story quest faster, and then I can, like, do the hangouts, which I've been wanting to do. But I think we might only do the Raiden Shogun quest today, because I'm feeling a little tired. But without further ado, I should probably pull up the game, actually. You guys will be hearing the game boot up and stuff. I apologize for that. But we could just sit here and listen to the sucks. That's fine. That works out well. Boom, boom. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. At least a decent Tuesday. I just hope you're not having a bad Tuesday, you know? Hope you got your weeks are going okay. Oh, interesting. My game had a little bit of a load halt. Here, I'll pause the music while this loads because, you know, conflicting sounds. Da, 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 da. I sh should have kept it going because I forgot the loading screen is completely silent. <laughs> Okay, before I go, I think I turned on my stuff. I did. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. It's almost there. We're getting to the infamous Geo sign. And it's done. Okay. Hold on, I need to check my mail real quick. Just to claim a thing. Okay. Let me switch over to the game. Boop. Perfect. There we go. All right, as I said before, we're gonna do dailies today and then we'll do Raiden Shogun's story quest. Um, oh, perfect, everything's in Inazuma too. That's great. Uh, and we'll just take our time with it. We will vibe and whatnot. You'll notice, I think the last time I played this, I was still using the Geo team. I have managed to get friendship level six for Ito. Where's Goro? Not six. Friendship level ten. Excuse me. Ito, Goro, and Chi Chi. They're all at friendship level ten. And I figure since this is Red Shogun's story quest, we can like have her in the party, you know? I think that works out. Okay, we're gonna have to fight a lot of Fatui Harbingers. I don't know if I have the right elements for this, but whatever. Shine down. Flag fly. Also, I have built Yunjin. Her stats are not the best, but she buffs the normal attack, which is great. She get rid of this guy here. Bad orders given. Yeah. Orders received. She's saying. Strike is one. This. Illusion shattered. Enable this. It's a my burst. Ah! 
Motion to compel. Oof. Oh no! Jack. Oh, poor Yenfei just got knocked around. Ow. Life goes on. Oh, there's two Electro Boys. Okay, faster. Well, I guess I'll just whack with GQ for a bit. Again. I really want to see this guy. Okay. There is no escape. Faster food. Motion to compel. That guy can do a lot of damage over time, man. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt to take care of. Black slide. Pyro shield. Absurd. I don't have Hydra with me. Illusion shattered. Opening box of Adept Ijex. If I can get this going, that can help. And then let's try this. To oblivion. Okay, next one. I hope my game audio isn't too loud. Get him! Hey! How are you doing, Kimmy? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing okay on this one, on this Thursday. This one Thursday. <laughs> I, I, I'm still getting used to seeing the Jade Chamber in the background. It's so great. Shine down. Flag fly. Observe. Maybe one day I will be over it, but I've gone so long without it. Mad of work stuff, but then the lady on my phone she left. Oh, dude, it's so great when someone can make you laugh. It really does help your day. At least for me, it definitely helps my day get better. Flag fly. I think my game audio is too loud. Hold on, I want to check this. Yeah, hold up. Sorry if it's been loud this whole time. Motion to compel. Especially when covers covers servers. Yeah. <laughs> Made her laugh. Oh, dude, that's even better. I agree. Being able to laugh with someone and also make them laugh is such a good feeling. Kumi, also, what do you think about the update next week? I'm really excited for it. I'm I'm mostly excited to fight a boss, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> okay, let's... I'm just gonna grab this, because I haven't grabbed these in a while. Or not, I guess. I'm just a decent bit. Oh, it looks so good, man. I'm excited. I'm also excited. <laughs> Give me the stories. Yes. I'm also excited for the music. I'm so excited for the music. Like, the music has always been very good. So I'm just so excited to faster? hear what the boss song is going to okay, sound like. Faster. Okay, and then we'll go here as we fly all over this place. I thought I... Okay. Whew. This one. Over here. Whee! And we'll fall down here. Touch this. 
Touch this. Touch. Touch. Oh. <laughs> Just stopped in midair. It's fine. Okay, and then we just fall. Heck yeah. And then... Man. Two quests on Watatsumi. I am not used to that. I us it's usually only one. <gasps> Grab these. Keep going back and forth if I want Yenfei or Zinyan in the party. Master. I'm not too sure. Shattered. Both are good. Flags up. Observe. My blade. Maybe it'd be fun to have Zinyan out. Zinyan doesn't get nearly as much. Though. To the fairy. Let's get down to business. Like, of course, I don't know how much fighting we're gonna be doing in the story quest, so you know. Yeah, I should have been having this the whole time. Well. Orders given. Orders received. Your grand finale! Motion to compel! Okay, cool. Well, might as well put her in. Just cause. Yeah. Let's jam! Heck yeah. Okay, then I can go do... Turn in my commissions. Oh, I need to fill up resin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh wait, was I not super full yesterday? Oh gosh. I think I was, I was so tired yesterday, I might not. Can I? Oh, cool. Heck yeah. Thank you, passed me. Astra Abyss. Uh, Thank you for commissions. Add Astra. And then. Expedition. A Ching Chong Yoon. And then we switch up. Bennett and Fischl. Ah! Fischl, there we go. Rebooting. Okay. Uh, I need to do teapot stuff. Not a lot of teapot stuff. Just, like, grab stuff from the teapot. I never have given my tour of my teapot, now that I think of it. But I don't... Mm, I don't know if that would take too much time. Maybe but we just get focused on the story quest. This realm is... Da, 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 da. Heck yeah. Can I buy anything from the shop? I think I bought it. Pretty much everything I need, wanted. Yeah. Bought the resin and the artifact thing. If you ever have Hmm. Oh yeah, there's all of these I need to do. Cause they're all available. But I think I'll just do this in my own time. Look at this guy. Look at this you little guy! What a good! I haven't even started that. <laughs> He's so cute. <gasps> Boop! Yay! He's so cute. I know a lot of people don't like this quest or this event, and I'll be honest, it's pr it's not up there as some of my favorite ones. But it's fun just going around the place and taking pictures. It's unavailable cop mode. Well, it'll at least get rid of the exclamation point. <laughs> That's what matters. <clears throat> oh, is that it for my dailies? We ended that a lot sooner than usual. I feel. I think that was it for my dailies. Because I got all my resin. I'm filled up on resin. Yeah, and then I have... I did my teapot. Yeah, that's pretty much all my dailies that I usually try to do. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. If the story quest is... Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Let's get this unlocked. You know, have not reached certain endings. I'm aware. I'm aware. I want to get to that eventually. Look how many I've got. Did I unlock? No, I didn't unlock Oros for some reason. It's not there. Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me. I haven't done a lot of those either. Yeah, I wanna- I genuinely wanna catch up on story quests so I can do hangouts, but I don't think that's gonna be anytime soon considering like two more are gonna be coming out. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll have two by the time that update comes up. So. But anyway, let's... Yeah, let's check this out. I'll just fill that back up. Where is this? Your adventure has come to an end for now. You could decide to pay the statue of the omnipresent god a visit. Okay. You know, I was thinking about it today, like, right into Shogun. And I keep thinking about- I kept thinking about how I almost didn't get her. Like, I was torn half and half, and I decided to get her. And I was like, man, in an alternate universe, what would have happened is I had a guarantee I would have not gotten Raiden. I would have gotten Tartalia. What things would have been different? Like... I don't know. You guys ever do that? Just think about like, oh man, like an alternate reality for something that doesn't really matter. Like, oh, what if I picked this character to go after or this one or da -da. It's it's interesting. And I'm like, I wonder how I would have felt now with like the trailer that I saw for the next update if I hadn't gotten right in. I don't know. Also, Toma! If the Tenryo Commission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have any spare hands right now. I hope you can understand. Exactly. So let's keep the discussion going and see if we can find a solution. Hey, Toma! What's going on? Ah, uh, hello you two. We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. <laughs> that brief pause. What an impact! Ha! What a coincidence. Greetings. Thank you both again for delivering Miss Hiragi's letter that time. Yeah! Ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me Ippe. Sounds like you're having some trouble. Well, the Tri-Commission's work used to consist of gathering information for the Shogun and carrying out any duties she assigned. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self-reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. We all understand if the Shogun needs some quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. I hear that storm represents the Shogun's will. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. Oh. What? So her will's changed and she wants to destroy Inazuma now? Or is this her way of trying to get revenge on us? Uh, that would be a little childish. Oh yeah, you're right. If she really wanted to get revenge on us, she could just strike us with lightning right here! Which would also be pretty scary! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. The reason we're concerned is that we've never known the Almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liyue's god left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. Yeah, I can, I can see your guys' concern. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. That seems like a valid concern. There must be a reason for the change of the storm. I mean, both. This is a valid concern, but I'm also going to say this. Right. So, before rumors start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need to make sure we're prepared to deal with the chaos if and when it arrives. 
Unfortunately, the reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. Ah. The Kujo clan has lost control over the other clans. Huh? Why is that? The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly <laughs> destroying the whole of Inazuma. <laughs> well, you know, the, Ku the Kujo clan is, in, is having a lot of hard time right now. Why? Well, you know... They basically <laughs> were colluding with terrorists and nearly destroyed life as we know it on this island. You know, just an out of average Tuesday. <laughs> Everyone knows that a change of commissioner is inevitable. It's just a matter of time before the almighty Shogun hands down her decree. To put it simply, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore, but there's still work that has to be done. If Mr. Takayuki was in better health, there might be a way through. But now? My lack of ability is to blame. I failed to uncover the truth in time, and I failed to stop my father. And now, as acting head of the clan, I'm failing to quell the unrest. It's it's a hard job. It's just, I sympathize with you, my dude. Don't blame yourself, master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan can't cope with any more instability in its current state. Yes, you're right. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. Mustn't cause any more issues for him. Okay, Toma, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa Susumu, head of the Takatsukasa clan. He's the only one capable of taking charge of the situation now. I'm must, I must be super tired. And I'm, usually I'm okay at reading Japanese words, but... Today's one of those days where I read that and I just heard I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Takatsukasa <laughs> Susumu. It was just Takatsukasa Susumu. Takakus Wait, Takatsukasa Susumu. <sighs> Rip that voice well, actor who would okay, read that line. No problem. A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. No need. I'll handle this by myself. Oh, okay. Take care then. Come back soon. If you think about it, both the thunderstorm situation and the issue with the Tenryo Commission have been caused by the Shogun's decision to take some time off, right? If things carry on like this, people will start to panic! Maybe we could invite her out for a while? Huh? You can actually do that? I don't know, I just threw the idea out from the ether. I guess I might be able to. Don't know for sure, but we may as well try! Whether she takes us up on the offer or not will depend on what mood she's in. Sounds like you guys know what to do. Uh, shall I leave it up to you then? Uh, you know, everyone's worrying about the Shogun's condition, but if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. Alright, I'll try. Uh, thank you very much. I owe you one, again. <laughs> no worries, dude. The way Paimon sees it, there's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? Let's take a trip to the Grand Narukami Shrine! Eh! How apt we are going to be visiting her. Oh, I can talk to them. <sighs> Your master shouldn't blame himself so much. Anyone else in his position would find it just as difficult to deal with. Exactly. He puts far too much pressure on himself. <sighs> the Kujo clan's future isn't looking bright. Hold on, though. Hold on. Tomo, don't look at me. Wait. Oh my gosh! Look! I got- I got Toba! From a single wish on the standard banner, guys! I can now play as Toma. Wow! <laughs> Wow, look, I'm- I'm Toma, guys! <laughs> look how good he is! For some reason, the expressions are broken! 
I don't know why that is. But hey, I am Toma. <laughs> You're just basic. That's my way of saying thanks. <laughs> just making strange noises. Like a gremlin. I wonder. Oh, there she is. The queen. Guys, look. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're coming home Tuesday? Soon! Look how cute! <laughs> Coming home Tuesday, please. <laughs> Look at these two. Look at these two. Wonder. <sighs> and then I can do. They should smooch. <laughs> You're not wrong. Let me... I can't blur the background as much as I would like, but... And then... Look at these two. Partners in crime! Can I get... Let me, if I do an alpha pose, and then pensive, serious, default, pensive. I can, we could try to focus on Yai. Lock, boom. And then I'll do one where I lower the blur radius so that they're both of you. Whoops, that's a little too much. I don't know, I like taking pictures of characters together. She looking? Listen, who wouldn't? You didn't hear that from me! You didn't hear that from me! <laughs> you didn't hear that from me! You did not hear that from me! <clears throat> I'm completely... I'm completely safe for work. Completely safe for work, y'all. <clears throat> <gasps> Ooh! I just got another idea for a picture. Well, frick, okay. <sighs> just got another idea for a picture. I'm so sorry, y'all. Uh -huh. <sighs> I'm completely fine. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying, y'all. Also, I just had a brilliant idea for a picture. Oh, the blur is kind of messed up on this one. Uh. Okay. Uh. Wonder if I can tilt it up a bit more. Okay, that worked a little bit better. A little bit better. Now do the glowy thing. Do the glowy thing. Do it! 
Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. Hey, please, <laughs> write in, please. Please, can you please do the glowy thing? Please. Please. Okay, cool. That works. Heck yeah. All right, let's talk to Ye. <laughs> Enough detour. I wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me? Actually, I wanted to ask you something. <gasps> How cold. I saved your skin, didn't I? Oof. Surely you could at least humor me by engaging in some small talk first? Sorry. My bad. Then again, I suppose your frankness is part of your charm. I still feel bad. So tell me, what is the matter? We heard the Shogun decided to take a break, and since then the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder. Rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will, so people are worrying that something might be wrong with her. The Tenryo Commission also needs her attention. <sighs> All right. There's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled and her temperament has changed drastically. What? Her temperament has changed? Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. <laughs> Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Oh, I could hardly bear to see her that way. You expect us to believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum over something like that? It's not beyond the realm of possibility. Even though my face says otherwise. I'm thinking about, like, you know, Morax, who, you know, forgot to make Mora before he decided to do stuff and have passionate venti is about wine. I'm like, they're still human. <laughs> Look right at Lumine's face. I know. Lumine, I feel like, has one of the best, like, upset expressions at people. <laughs> but I think I'm biased. Just... Mm hmm Paimon's so angry. <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. Oh, okay, so it was a lie. A seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, you're saying she's fine? Right? I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable that, as you suggest, her will has wavered somewhat. All the more reason to go check on her. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? <sighs> like, this is a good answer. This is a very good answer. However, the ship. <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate, and he will let you in. Thanks, Miko! My question was in jest, but since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. I'll try to remember. Oh, you're still here! She spends all her time alone. Having a visitor once in a while can't do any harm. As the one who shook eternity, you are her potential for change. 
And you're so pretty. Will it just ah! The Almighty Shogun take us has here? requested solitude. No visitors allowed. That answered my question before I even said it. Oh, we've got a pass permit from Miko. Don't be ridiculous. Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another person. Not even esteemed travelers like yourselves. But the Paimon's mad. <laughs> Guji Yai is only authorized to hold that pass permit because of the trust that the Almighty Shogun places in her and her alone. Wait, this is. Authentic. Uh, feel free to check with Miko. Understood. Then as the Shogun has ordered, I must not stand in your way. Apologies. Please proceed. Since the Shogun is resting at this time, please be especially respectful and make sure your behavior is impeccable. <laughs> I'll do my best, but I don't know if that's how it will go. Oh, she's just walking around. It's weird just seeing an actual, like, playable character walking around like that. I don't think we've seen that before. Because a lot of times they just kind of stand. Here, maybe if we approach her with a concept of eternity. Go what forward, Chi Chi. Back and forth. Don't you think she looks a little anxious? Uh... Ma'am? 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 Are you doing okay? Ma'am? You hanging in there? Ma'am? Also, I love this song playing. Oh my gosh. Ma'am? Ma'am? Okay. <laughs> Enough goofing around. How did you get in? Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Wait, no, it's us! Why are you treating us like we're your enemies? So nice. Yeah, the song's so good. Uh, we made amends, didn't we? Also, we got in by totally legitimate means! Denied. Use of force has been forbidden. Uh. <sighs> anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. Uh, is everything okay? That is of no concern. This is my recuperation state. Uh, what did you make of this? She's acting strange, huh? Has she ever been like this before? Do puppets really need rest and relax- Has she ever- Puppets do need rest and relaxation. I'm looking at you, Scarabouche. Has she been like this before? This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. Paimon gets it. So this is all A's doing. But why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. Well, see, that's the concern. What if it does? She's got plenty of space in there. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. Well... Why not put their minds at rest? Everyone's worried and wants to see you. I cannot. In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. I am currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable of it. Uh... What do you mean by that? Hmm... It has been forbidden. <sighs> Please refrain from making me talk any further. This is, this is, this is definitely like code line where like if you try to, like, try to, <laughs> if you, if you have a code that is like has an error somewhere along it and you try to execute it, it says like error, there's an error. That's what the, the feel I get from this slide. Like it is forbidden. Your code will not run. <laughs> what should we do? It feels like this conversation is going nowhere. Have you malfunctioned? Oh, it's you too. It's been a while. Oh, hey! The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. No, uh, okay. So it was just that simple. Ooh! Love what you've done with the place again, you know? It's... The pillars look. The, the Tory gates One, look nice. Two. 
think you could paint them red again. That'd be nice. They're, your sand, your sand is looking pretty again. Hi. Uh, that was terrifying. Would it be so hard to give us a little warning first? Huh. It's not your first time. I don't see what there is to be so alarmed about. So, is the shoe gun broken? Are you gonna get it fixed, or...? Don't worry. The Shogun's not broken. I've just... temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the Shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me. So the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. Cannot handle any business and cannot appear as me. So that's what she meant by forbidden. As I said, I need to think about Inazuma's eternity. And thinking takes time. But the Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. Oh, so you haven't fixed her programming. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Uh, <laughs> That's not how it works. No, she was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. You're so strict with yourself. That's why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. Hmm. For now, while I figure out the form that Eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily disable some of the puppet's functions, rather than attempt to modify her rules. Oh, Paimon gets it now! The thunderstorm's getting out of control because some of the Shogun's functions have been disabled! Hmm? The thunderstorm is getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, well, you also haven't talked to anyone. Bro, my brain right now is just going, mm, same, same. I didn't want to call anything out, but how many functions have you disabled? Eh? How many functions are disabled? How and what exactly are those functions? Like, yeah, no, for real, for real. I'm so glad. No, 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 I think you you got it pretty good. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. I did again. I feel bad for anyone that is blind. Like, you don't need to watch the trailers. You really don't. But I like watching the trailers just because it's fun. And uh, so I have seen some things that I don't want to spoil. But I'm also trying to overanalyze a lot of things right now, too. Because this is fascinating. Mm. Huh? Okay, well, let us bring you up to speed. Hmm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. You can fix it, right? I'm guessing not. It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to the Shogun should fix it. <laughs> so everyone was worked up over nothing. I love it. I just a small this it's a minor error a thunderstorm that surrounds the whole country that is getting a little out of control is considered a minor error what's a major error hello <laughs> what's a major error if that's a minor error what could be a major error Seems a little arbitrary. Don't look at me like that. I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and she's very complicated. I believe it. It's practically inevitable for something to go wrong when you start tweaking things. I also believe that, but how wrong are we talking here? <laughs> this whole conversation is fascinating. When I know that the Raiden Shogun is getting a second story quest soon. <laughs> because of trailers. Trailers have been officially released. <laughs> So, uh... <laughs> yes, that's it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Just as long as you can fix it is all. Y yeah. I've never taken with it before. <gasps> Bro, who... <laughs> oh, you know who... I think it was... Well... I wonder if tinkering and creating is different. Does that make sense? Like, maybe... Maybe a created previous puppets and the shogun right but never had to like actually tweak them or fix them if that makes sense 
because she probably didn't think she would. You know, eternity. This will last forever. This is fascinating. Everything about this is fascinating. As one might guess, I'm heavily invested in the theories behind the puppet stuff. Then, oh, program? Well, yeah, so what I'm thinking is, like, I don't know. I don't know. What I'm th again, what I'm thinking is, like, it was firstly created, and it was, like, perfect. It works as intended. And that was it. I didn't think about that and thought, I will never have to change that. That's what I'm thinking. Or, uh, because in one of the previous puppets, we know that for them to be who they are now, they were also modified by someone else. Which, if we're going off of theory tangents right now, that person who modified a previous puppet, I think that just goes to show how intelligent that particular person is. Because Yamiko said that the Harbingers modified the puppet, right? Uh, I don't, I can't remember if they exactly said who it was or if everyone thinks it's Dotor, Dotori, Dotori. So, but that's a true testament to his or their knowledge because they were able to modify that. Anyway, just, just tangent thoughts right now. Uh, this whole puppet thing is fascinating, man. I'm so excited. Doteri? Doteri? Doteri. Okay, I'll be honest, it's a little hard for me to remember that because I keep thinking of this one company. Hold on, I actually need to check this. I don't want to let name... I don't want to name a company that is local. And I don't think they're local. I don't know. There's a company that sa is similar to Doteri. I know Child has said it before. I'm going to have to go back and watch. Um, so it's it's similar to a local company, but it's also close to, in Critical Role, there's a character that appears much later in, this, in the first campaign called Doty. Doty. So it's like Dotery, and then this local company that's very similar to this, and then there's Doty, and everything just is getting jumbled. <laughs> Dr. Doe. <laughs> Call him Dr. Doe. It's easier for me. Dr. Doe. Anyway. <laughs> That's... I hope I remember that later because I don't know how to pronounce it, so he's Dr. Doe to me. <laughs> uh, any progress on your thoughts about eternity? <sighs> Not much. As before... I can see the way forward, yet there are still contradictions. Mm -hmm. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste, just for the sake of having reached one, would be a confusion of priorities. I need to reread that. I'm so sorry. Reach an ill-conceived verdict just for the sake of having reached one would be confusion of priorities. Yes. How about we go for a walk? That's That actually helps. Walking when you feel like you're stuck on uh, something or like taking a break from it actually helps you think about it. Not to, I keep going on tangents, but for example, one time I was working on this one code, like I wanted it to ex to perform a certain way, but it just wasn't working and I kept getting errors. I didn't know why. I spent like an hour trying to figure this out. And then I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to go get lunch. And literally I took five steps. I was in the doorway and I was like, oh, I know how to fix it. <laughs> and I was able to fix it. Like, I knew exactly how to fix it just by getting away from it. Just for, like, a moment. So, that helps. So, you want to go for a walk? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I just wanted to go for a walk. I thought you could be it. Please. It could just be a walk. It's just a walk. Please don't kill me. If everyone sees that the Shogun is in good health, it'll put all the speculation and rumors out there to rest. And who knows? 
A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some fresh inspiration. Uh, you mean leave the plane of Euthymia? You haven't left it a long time, I'll bet. It's unnecessary, as far as I'm concerned. But since you're inviting me, a change of pace might well be nice. Yeah. All right, then. I'll come out for a while. Yeah. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, you can just call me A. <gasps> I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. Oh. Oh. I don't know why just that sentence made me almost tear up. I don't know. Okay, A. What? But you're just A's consciousness, aren't you? Can consciousness actually leave this place? I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment voluntarily. Oh, great! Then there's nothing to worry about! Allow us to be your tour guides. Tour guides? What's a tour guide? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, how long have you been in here, eh? Uh, we might have a lot of explaining to do. Someone to show you around the Inazuma of today and give you oh, honey. to eat and how to have fun! Alright, let's go, go, go! Oh, honey. Oh, sweet summer child. Oh, sweet summer child. Honestly, this quest is what made me like her. No, yeah, totally. I mean, that's the thing, is that character quests are supposed to help you see more of a character than you would in the story to get to know them better. It is a strategy, but uh, but at the same time, like, it's fun. Like, it's, it's one of those, like, I'm fully aware that when they do this kind of stuff, like character story quests, like with Shen, Shen He wasn't an Archon quest wasn't a story quest, it was an art conquest. But with all the character story quests, like Hu Tao's, for example, the whole purpose of them is to make you, like, want them. Or I should use Eula as an example. Sorry, brain's all over the place. Um, with Eula before, I was like, oh, you know, I'm not really feeling her. I don't really like her. Um, and then, you know, the event happened where she was part of the event, right? With Albedo and Amber and Bennett. And I was like, oh, she's interesting. And then I did Eula story quest and it made me want her more. That's that's literally their strategy for this. But it's one of those like, it's one of those things where I feel like if it, it's like, if you're like fully aware that that's what they're doing and you still enjoy them, then it's okay. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it's nice when it succeeds is what I'm trying to say. As oh, another example, dear, is but a when it comes to Hu Tao, for me, and I this, is, this might be a, uh, alone and unchanging. this might be a controversial take, but for me, when I saw Hu Tao Story Quest, and I know a lot of people love Hu Tao, but for me, when I finished Hu Tao Story Quest, it was like, yeah, Hu Tao's a great character, but I do not want her after that, <laughs> if that makes sense. But that's the thing, is that it's different for everybody. The characters will always appeal to One, someone. One, two, breathe. If that makes sense. Four, I don't know. I feel like I'm going on tangents right now. <sighs> and not actually saying what I want to say. Which I, what I want to say is I'm ex really excited to learn more about A. Like, I'm legitimately way more, super excited to learn more about A. If that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to say. And even though I know that's the purpose of these quests, it still makes me really happy. I think that is what I'm trying to say. I think. Words are hard, man. <laughs> okay, I will say though, I know it's like a strange time because it's technically not even been an hour, but I want to take a break right here because it feels like a good spot because we just barely got convinced Raiden, or A, we just barely convinced A to go out on a walk with us. So this feels like a good time to just take a quick break. Uh... So this break will be five or 10 minutes. This is the best time to stretch your legs, get some water, yeah, you know, use the restroom and do what you gotta do. Uh, I'll be back in just a bit, but for now, uh, be sure to get up and stretch your legs, guys. All right, be your bee. i
stays perfectly still And a nose of silver perfectly fits the bill I made the calculations And I figured out the rules I've lived life like a sage And I'm gonna die a fool I'm Tycho, Tycho
<gasps> Hello. Hi, guys. I hope you had a good break. Hope you were able to stretch a bit. Uh, or get water. All that good stuff. I drank- I literally drank water before I came back on, and I still need more water. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, thanks! <clears throat> thank you, thank you! I'm excited to get back uh, to it! And my date! I mean, our walk! With the Raiden Shogun. I'm excited for my walk with the Raiden Shogun. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. <sighs> Whee! I guess I could be riding, you know. Let's see. She's not here yet. So this is this. We're just walking with her, quite literally. It's a far cry from how I remember it. Oh, the stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's... the Shogun! What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. Uh, I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit! <laughs> Everyone's just- <gasps> <laughs> Everyone's just like, Oh my gosh! It's the Shogun! Oh, she's gonna strike us down! <laughs> Doesn't the Shogun normally patrol all these parts? Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? No. I think it's important in this new age of eternity for change. An, an eternal change of where you guys could do what uh, the other countries do, where they're like, oh yeah, our god walks among our streets. We could do that with you. Yes. This is a well-needed change. And for people to get out of this age of terror that they were in, <laughs> I think this is important. It might be messy, but it's important. Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. Bear by real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. <laughs> uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? Yeah. People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Uh huh. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? <laughs> of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plain of Euthymia. Uh, if uh. I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Uh, you know of someone. You you know more. Anyways, oh, people my. seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Shogun. Yeah, they don't know how to act. They don't know how to be themselves. They're a little scared. I bet. Mm. What is this doll selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Oh, that doll? Uh. Ooh. This. It's food. Food is a great way to make you feel better, and it's just good in general. Please have the food. Shogun, I, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. 
takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. They're so cute. Uh -huh. Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is, in fact, my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. Aww. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. Oh, oh. <laughs> you see, eh? You see? Everyone's just real nervous around you. You gotta make them feel at ease now. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dongo and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? This is why it's important. Yes. This country is still lucky to have you. <laughs> In a way. You still just got some kinks to work out. But, I mean, the the Shogun has needs some tweaking. But, it's important to reestablish this connection with your people. Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had use for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. Oh yeah, I'm down. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <gasps> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. Aww. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Oh no, oh, oh no. Uh, Questions persisting. most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please. Don't take it the wrong way. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be fixed. Oh! Uh, I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. Uh, 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 that's excessive. Um. No, no, no. Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. Okay, but some people might not like Dongo or milk. Or be allergic to milk. Eh, eh, it's a little excessive. I... Uh... <laughs> Do you want another cup? Oh, I would l No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. <laughs> <laughs> she was almost like, Yes, please! Just, please, I would love for the dongo milk. That would be needlessly indulgent. You're being, you're, you trying to demand people to drink this is going to be needlessly excessive. There's got to be a balance, my dude. Please, give me the dongo milk, please. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way. Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. You, uh, have you read any? She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure. Sure! Let's go and have a look! Yeah. 
Sorry, that was my chair. Oh, the Almighty Shogun actually rates my Dongo milk. Aww. This is incredible. I was thinking of giving up on it, but now. <gasps> oh, this is fantastic. Aww. That's so precious, dude. Wait, it, oh, right, it's over here. I got it mixed up with another place. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Let's make an entrance that A would normally, or the Shogun would normally do. <laughs> Slamming our pole into the ground. Hello. Sh Shogun? Uh, Almighty Shogun? What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Uh, apologies. I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations? Or fire safety measures? Oh, no. Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The almighty Shokin wishes to read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public, and the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shogun's taste. The voice actor is familiar. It, I, I don't know. I don't think I want to make comparisons. It's familiar. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? <laughs> well, we'll see. In principle, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it's just... That's a good way of putting it. It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. The almighty Shogun just wants to have a look. Well... Okay, then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Hey! Uh, I have just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. <laughs> okay, let's go then. That line definitely sounded like a, like a feeling slightly guilty about some of these books. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles. So why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. I wonder if that's actually true. It's so long. Oh man, a I have new I have I have a recommendation, or I, I, it's not really a recommendation, but I have some advice. Stay away from anime. <laughs> There's some anime titles that are really long, and also you may want to stay away from my favorite song from Undertale. Hold on, I need to find it. I want to find it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, this thing is taking forever to load. Oh my gosh, go away. Uh, albums. Where's my Undertale album? Undertale. No, it's it's not the bird one, it's another one. Well, the bird that carries you over a dis disproportionately s small gap is definitely a good one. But... My favorite song, or a, you might have to stay away from one of my favorite song titles from Undertale, which is, can you really call this a hotel? I didn't get a mint on my pillow or something along those lines. <laughs> Without the, or something along those lines. It's, can you really call this a hotel? I didn't really, I didn't receive a mint on my pillow or anything 
Oh, I didn't receive a mid on my pillow or anything. Okay, so yeah. A, you should stay away if you don't like really long titles. Here's my advice from you. Stay away from certain anime titles and stay away from the Undertale song. Can you really call this a hotel? I didn't really receive a... I didn't receive a mint on my pillow or anything. Yes. There. We have given her the advice. <laughs> Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. Oh, I, I have a feeling they're gonna reprimand A, but now I feel a little silly because I thought the same thing. Like, is it true? Is that true? <laughs> We're similar in this aspect. It's just a narrative device. Narrative device. Uh, it's imaginary. So it's made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Mm hmm. Fans have no place in eternity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Too modern, I guess. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. All right, then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. All right, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, yeah? This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. Huh. Can I read all of these? I'm a little scared. I want to read the daily life romance story. Chaotic epic that is told that is the tale of a youthful love life. This book is about the love stories between a very mediocre man and seven beautiful women. Oh, I can't perfect. It's a chronological account of the protagonist's daily life featuring many amusing anecdotes. Anecdotes. Writing is solid, the prose is elegant, and the author brilliantly brings out a unique charm of each character in the story. But the story at a crucial the story stops at a crucial moment when the main character's childhood sweetheart is just about to confess their love to him. <gasps> the suspense is killing Paimon! Paimon only skimmed through, but Paimon can tell this girl has loved the main character with all her heart since childhood! I hope the writer gives her a happy ending. Right! Yeah, it's just a novel. But please let the author have a heart, please! <laughs> but it's really gripping. But would A really understand this kind of mortal romance? Hmm. Uh. Reincarnation Adventure. Interesting. Shogun Almighty reborn as a writer with unlimited power. Oh. In this book, the protagonist is struck by lightning beneath a thunder sakura and wakes up to discover that he has become the right in Shogun. <laughs> Prior to this event, the protagonist is a nobody who gets bullied by everyone, but after becoming the right in Shogun, he acquires unlimited power. The also, only show her. W oh, okay. Okay. The appeal of this one probably lies in the euphoria of going from powerlessness to omnipresence or omnipotence. And in the protagonist's inner journey to finally breaking free from their low self-esteem. But it's hard to see how the story would develop after the protagonist literally becomes a writer. You picked, uh... <laughs> With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was nervous about letting A look around. Uh, Paimon thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. But it doesn't paint the Shogun in a bad light. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. Okay, we are material arts story. Life made me a fighter when I just wanted to be a writer. This book is a martial arts story set in Liyue, focused on fighting between different gangs. The protagonist aspires only to become a humble novelist, but gets caught up in the world of gang strife because of unparalleled martial arts abilities. The selling point of this story is that the protagonist never joins any faction, but is constantly assumed to be the recluse master of one faction or another. 
martial arts pros who see the protagonist as their enemy are always making a scene. The protagonist is stuck in the middle of all this and the, while clinging tight to the dream of becoming a novelist. A strange person. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world. It's all about the journey. You do have a point. And a character so determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right? I was thinking that she might like the martial art aspect of it, perhaps? That's all of them! Let's try to explain them to A. Oh, there she is. <gasps> Wait! Everything is going smoothly, just as I planned. There's two shoguns! <laughs> Pitcher! A fight is <laughs> I didn't know what was in this story quest. Oh no! Or, or we could do like, like the, 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 the trailer here, where the Red Shogun trailer. Boom! I can't get this. Is, I think this is as close as I can get, unfortunately. But it's it's like the trailer. The activity serves no purpose whatsoever. It's like the trailer. Not the most recent one, but when Raiden was released. Bam! Okay. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. I'm gonna go with martial arts. Goodness. Are people in Liyue really so complex these days? Even though the protagonist refuses to acknowledge his innate talents, he has a rare dedication to justice. Okay, see? Yes. You have picked the right- <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Oh my gosh. I thought I could show her all of that. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and watch that because I want to know what she said. Oh my gosh. Even though the protagonist refused to acknowledge, he has a rare dedication to justice. Where is he now? Does he have plans to visit Inazuma? If so, I will instruct one of the commissioners to bring him to me on his arrival. I would very much like to spar with him. I uh, see she likes the martial art thing, but she has misunderstood that he doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, he's a fictional character. He doesn't exist. What about the antagonist, though? Don't you have any thoughts about their part in the story? The antagonists? You mean all the people who behaved foolishly? What can I say? <laughs> They're bad people, and they all got what they deserved. End of story. <laughs> Moses to Shin Cho! <laughs> you want to find Shin Cho? He's actually really good when paired with you, dude. When you can be a DPS shogun, I'd like C2 or something. Jesus. Uh, A doesn't seem interested in the supporting characters at all. So, what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai publishing house, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. 
Change is inevitable, whether we like it or not. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out. To yeah. take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Yeah, it can it can help inform you on what decisions you want to make for Inazuma too. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. Same. <laughs> but I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Also same. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. Eh, don't mention it. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. Well, you should do it more often, I think. I wish I had that option. Can I- I want to tell her that. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. <gasps> Why don't I take a photo, even though I've taken like five? Great idea! Ace had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay! Come with us! We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean! Oh, I wish I could get it with the sun rising up here. I doubt I'll be able to. But it's such a good shot. So, uh... What are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you! Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose. Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time. So it makes a great souvenir! Okay. So what exactly is striking a pose? Uh, oh, honey! What's we had? Photo is a visual representation. Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Uh, the more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. It could, it could take some getting used to. How should I pose? Help me out here. It should look good, but not too over the top. This isn't coming naturally to me at all. How about... I I, I want to, her to be this, but... Uh, like the other two, she could probably do, but... I don't know, try to be relaxed and casual, like you were telling everybody else. Casual? Uh, how about this? This feels quite natural. I like that. That works. Okay. Let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from. Uh, can I talk to her? So a photo is a visual representation, an impression, like casting a shadow. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm learning a lot today. Let's get this underway. <laughs> Ooh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do, eh? You know what we could do, A? Eh? We could wait, I have I probably have to be in a certain position, don't I? Yeah, here. Start taking photos. We can have you in front of the Grand Narokami Shrine. Yeah. <sighs> Boom! Sure, why not? Here you go. It's a wrap! Take a look! Here's the photo we took of you! Wow. This is astonishing. Is it some kind of magic? It seems to be pretty thinks. another copy of me. But she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. That's it's just a record. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid. 
But it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same, and so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, oh, sweetheart. Oh, precious summer child. How about we go on a walk every week? I think you need it at this point. <laughs> That's what makes it so special. Uh, hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. This whole quest is just, oh, honey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? Uh-oh. And if she is me, then... Who am I? I didn't mean to give you an existential crisis. Uh, okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler. Uh, uh it's a, a little bit like you and the Shogun. Hey, that's right. Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. So, your existence isn't singular. My existence? Hmm. Ah. I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence too. Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, am constantly changing my form of existence. Mm-hmm. Then... How can I ask Inazuma, and everyone who lives here, to remain unchanging? Human beings will always be human. Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, I think I was very observant of that. <laughs> Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Right. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Listen, as much as we don't want things to change, and I know that, uh, it's gonna happen. So. Like, there's, there is a, the, the concept of, you want your nation to last, I totally get that. But, you know. There will be change within that. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Just a smidge. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! And that means that we've done a really great job as her guides! What I love, speaking of that, what I love is, again, I, you. this is completely unnecessary, people don't have to do this, but during the um, 2.5 announcement livestream, they had on... Uh, A's voice actor and, uh, Yai's voice actor, right? And it's, the, it was near the end of the live stream, and I, I think Raiden's voice actress was like, Oh, I could kind of see why she wanted attorney, because I would like this to last forever. And pretty much everyone was like, she definitely, like... I'm not overstepped, but she she definitely went overboard with that. <laughs> the voice actress was like, I, I know! <laughs> I liked that part. I know some people say the dialogue's cheesy, but I, whatever. I don't care. I, I liked that part. It was it was great. Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Hmm. Why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. What could be the matter? Ipe? 
Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Yep. Let's find out what's going on. If you're okay handling business right now, write it. Or A. I gotta get better at that. A. I, I probably will still call you Raiden outside of a lot of stuff. Because spoilers. But. Since we're here. A. Hey, Hi. Ipe. What's the matter? Ah, uh, it's you. I. <laughs> Shogun walks up. Or A walks up. Huh? The, the almighty Shogun. <gasps> Hello. You must be looking for my master. Kujo Kamaji? Hey, I am very sorry. He's not here at the moment. But but if it pleases you, I will gladly deliver a message on your behalf. It's okay. I'm not here to see him. We just heard you calling out, so we came to see what was going on. Are you looking for your master? Yes. Master Kamaji still hasn't returned from the negotiations, and I'm starting to get worried. In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he likes and lost track of time. But for some reason, today, I'm particularly nervous. Kujo Kamaji. A descendant of the Kujo clan, I presume. That's right. Uh, apologies, since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and Master Masahito is rarely home, Master Kamaji is currently serving as representative of the Kujo clan. I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamaji? Forgive us, almighty Shogun. The Kujo clan has failed in its duty. The Kujo clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um, <clears throat> you have yet to issue a verdict on the Commission's future. So, Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takatsukasa clan with a view of having them take over. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Why are you looking for them here? Actually... They decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little confused as to why, to be honest, but I didn't feel it was my place to question the higher-ups. The meeting mm. place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. I believe the Takatsukasa clan have some kind of base there. Takatsukasa? Another familiar name. They have been faithfully serving the Kujo clan all these years? Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things with them. I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, there's no way it should have gone on this long. I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Maybe something's happened. Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. But someone of my rank can't just go venturing into Takatsukasa clan territory like that. Well, good news for you. Uh, I'm an outsider and I've already broken... S <laughs> I already broken a lot of Inazuma laws, so I could go check things out for you. No. No need. I'm probably just overthinking things. Besides, if they're still at it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant. But Master Kamaji and I grew up together. It'd be terrible if anything ever happened to him. I need- uh, sorry. Later, I need to remember this spot because with the tree and the sunset, this would look like such a good spot for a picture. I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I could have done something about it. Hmm. What do you think, Ship it. <laughs> Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me, and I shall be the one to finish it. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. Let me mark out the location of the base for you. I hope everything goes smoothly. Hold on. I, I genuinely want to try to take a picture here. I know that's going to sound weird. Let me... Okay. Okay. Wait. No, I got to change the time. I got to change the time. I don't know what's up with me in pictures today, but I want it. Boop. Boom. I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm sure they'll be fine. I just want a picture. I could probably do it a smidge more. I'm just afraid that I'll miss a good time, is all. Okay. 
and then take a photo, and then hide my stuff. Oh, I need to angle her more. Hey, personal info. Oh, is that too much? I wonder if that's too much. Oh my gosh. Huh. The world remains constant over the centuries. But human life is like the dew at dawn eh, or a bubble eh. rising through water. Transitory. Kinda. That kind of works. I need a... See, this is so pretty. It's a pick. It's a really nice pick. I just gotta... The, the timing is a little bit off than I would like. The sun is already starting to set, but... Maybe I could get something else? Maybe? I'll have to come back to the spot. Photo shoot! Photo shoot! Okay, see, the sunset's gone. But imagine this with the sunset! Not quite. I'll have to come back here. That's a pretty spot. Okay, where am I going? <laughs> Enough distraction. can start. Now, chances are they probably will give us Raiden in here, and I kind of want to see what this Raiden looks like, so I'll put in another character. Hmm. It's been a while since I had Sucrose. I... I can do it. If, if I don't get Raiden, I will probably leave and go back in, but I'm 90% sure I'll get Raiden. So, and I, again, I want to see what they do for her build, because my Raiden, I'll be honest, guys, my Raiden's build is kind of bad. <laughs> I've, I've been trying to get it better, but it's, it hasn't been working. But I'm pretty sure we'll get Raiden here, so. Because I usually do that during the story quests. Whoa! Look at how well hidden this place is! I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep in the mountains. Maybe to evade detection. I feel something that doesn't belong here. I sense danger. Huh? Sorry, I took some water. Hold on, give me a sec. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We should proceed with caution. The Kujo clan descendant may well be in trouble. I like how she says the Kujo clan descendant. But still. Ah, oh, there we go. Level 90 righted. Oh, I wish. I wish. Oh, hey. My energy recharge is close to that. Oh, this is actually kind of close to what I have, I think. 
Except for the attack. <laughs> Malolo on the attack. And the electro damage is at 48%. Okay. But I'm guessing she'll have constellations. I want to check it to see what mine looks like after this. Hold on. I'm taking a picture because I want to compare after this. <gasps> boom. And then... Boom. Okay. So, I'm guessing she has the... I forget what it's called, but the Miss Splitter polearm. Engulfing lightning. That's it. Where it has energy recharge and then attack increases. Oh, that's where the attack buff comes from. No wonder. No wonder, dude. It's increased by 25% of energy recharge over the base of 100. You can get a maximum bonus of 80% attack energy recharge. So the artifacts are either going to be the emblem one or noblesse. Noblesse it is. Which is usually the trend. So she's not getting any electro damage from these goblets. And the electro damage is converted from her energy recharge. So So cuz she has a she has a passive talent. The the right uh, right it is a little hard to build. It could be a little funky. But she has this thing here where every 1% above 100% energy recharge can give her energy restoration from her burst and electro damage. So all of this electro damage that is like right here is from is being calculated from her energy recharge which is at 222% because her artifacts she's not getting anything from her artifacts here. That's all from her energy recharge. So how she's probably built based on these stats and this it's probably an attack timepiece and attack goblet. No, it's I think how much energy recharge does she get from this? And what it is, is it's probably... Energy recharge... So that's from substats, I'm pretty sure. Because I have an energy recharge timepiece on Yunjin, and that goes up to 51. So what she probably has is she has an attack timepiece, an attack goblet here, with a crit rate hat, and then substats make up for the rest of all this stuff, I think. Because a maximum crit damage hat would give you 60... 2% crit damage, I think? So yeah. That is how she is built. And bam! These constellations are ridiculous. Especially the C2. So for this one... When Electro characters use their bursts, the resolve gained increases by 80%. When characters of other elemental types use their elemental burst, the resolve gained is increased by 20%. This is one of the reasons why... A, a lot of people like running Kuchosara with Raiden. And I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot, but... I'm just wanting to dish out what I know about Raiden because I've looked into it and I've probably got some things wrong, but I think I'm... I think I'm getting everything right. Anyway, so with this... With her burst, with the Muso no Hitotachi, the attacks ignore 60% of the opponent's defense. This is where a lot of DPS, uh, the DPS buff comes from. So if you ever see like a Raiden Shogun DPS, chances are she's at C2. <laughs> and that is a lot of money spent. And that's increased by three. This is another great defense buff. Because in her birth state, when it expires, everybody gets an attack buff, but, you know, and then C6. Uh, they'll decrease all nearby party members' elemental burst cooldowns, which means you can spam her burst even more. Anyway. She's quite a thing! I do really love how this weapon looks with her. And I can never get it. Really. Unless I want to spend a obscene amount of money for it, but... It's so pretty on her. Oh, hi! Shine down! Observe! Absorption test! Oh, I should have put it in the cryo thing there. We are alive. Okay. Uh. Something is not right. We must remove all those who stand in our way. 
Got it. <laughs> I'm happy with that damage increase. Okay, I need to get more bursts in. Because my energy is a little low for me to do max damage with Brighton. Oh, perfect! Everybody can go. Or if you get really lucky, I just saw your thing. Yes, correct. Whoops. Shine down. Oh, I have full stacks. Now you shall perish. Oh! Man, I wish. I wish my right hand doesn't do nearly that much. Ow. Animal hypostasis and you and step. Stand clear. Illusion shattered. Absorption test. No. Go. Create superconduct. Now death. Finally. I... No. <gasps> More enemies for me? Animal test 6308. Okay. Okay. Flag fly. And leap. Strike is one. Whoops. Opening box of Adept Hydrix. To the fairy. To the fairy. Let's get down to business. Come here, y'all. Rise. Five. Shine down. Stand clear. Absorption test. Let's get down to business. Come here, y'all. Animal module seventy-five. Stand clear. Absorption test. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time turning it to Chi Chi. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. Break a leg. Feel the beat. To the fairy. Amp it up. Cool, she has full stacks. Ooh. You know what? Let's just do this. Now you shall perish. To the fairy. Bum, 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 bum. Oh hi! Come here, guys. There is no escape. Life goes on. Animal hyperspace. <laughs> Come here often. Faster. Oh, this okay, is gonna faster. suck. They're totally gonna revive their health, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Come here, you! <laughs> Nailed it. I found somebody new here. In yes. That'll come down, right? I got distracted. I was like, oh, wait, maybe there's a chest in here that I forgot. Ah, oh, there was! See, it'll come down. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, and there it goes again. It's fine. We can wait. That's very pretty, though. Ah. Moon. Moon. All right. Wee. These resolve stacks last forever. I'm not even worried that they'll disappear. They'll stay forever. Oh, hello. What do I see here? Stay back. 
I will deal with this. Okay. Hello. Almighty Shogun! Shogun? What are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain what is going on here. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the Almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. Silence. <laughs> Descendant of the Kujo clan, your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kujo clan. A written confession? Yes. A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt Decree, including all the recent misconduct. Uh -huh. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. These are all falsehoods. <laughs> Says who? Why, you two-faced... You're going back on everything you said! I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the Almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just negotiating here. You've completely changed your tune. I believe I now understand the situation. I don't know what to think, so please go ahead. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. <laughs> you are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, y yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo commission to offer our lives in service of the almighty Shogun. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo Commissioner. The process is quite simple. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new Commissioner. Oh, uh, sorry, a duel with the Almighty Shogun? The first Tenryo Commissioner demonstrated his will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. Hmm. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. I, uh... Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Here you are talking about offering your life, and yet you are too afraid to face my blade. Uh... well... Well, never mind. What about one of you, then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, 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 uh. Does not a single person dare to face me? I... I will challenge you, Almighty Shogun. What? <laughs> Everyone, foo, 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 get talked on! <laughs> Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it. Because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. Oh. Ow. To be brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even if you had tried. She's not wrong. Yes. 
I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. I didn't mean all I that. I need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, and right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me, Kujo Kamachi, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless. But I accept. Come forward. Ha. The Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Oh. Ready to learn, almighty Shogun. in the song. <laughs> Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Aww. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan, it is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I had heard that the Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, hmm. I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shogun's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. There's a bit of an eye twitch there, but yeah! Yeah! Understood. Thank you, Almighty Shogun, for your wisdom and mercy. That will do. I will have the Okuzumeshu continue the investigation from here. Come with me. <laughs> Find a quiet place. There's something I want to talk about with you. Get freaky dog John. Heck yeah. I love how after putting out all these orders, Ace is still like, hey, let's go somewhere quiet. I want to talk. <laughs> okay. <sighs> a, a precious chest. Precious. Okay. Increasing. 
think we can run some tests? Oh, it's raining. Oh, this will be interesting. Whew. When it's time to deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun. So strict. Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. Uh -huh. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. <sighs> oh, would she? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, boy. Maybe that's what he was expecting. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but he has shown me how some things remain the same even as the world around them changes. Also, just a total aside, I like how it is raining right now. It's really fitting for Raiden's whole thing of, like, you know, the thunderstorms and stuff. I like how we're talking about stuff in the rain. That's what I'm trying to say. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization, too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. <laughs> Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Mm -hmm. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. Hey. What good, good for you. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. Yeah. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least I can now see the way ahead. That's good. Uh, are you going to rule Inazuma directly? I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I, myself, would change over time. Hmm. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Uh, ah. I wonder what that'll entail. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely. You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun. All the awful rumors will disappear in no time. Uh, this will really work out that way, but it's ho hopeful thinking. If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime. Next time, we'll... we'll bring you some souvenirs. No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also... Please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to head back now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Listen, A, I hate to tell you this. You kind of do need the company. My period of <laughs> solitude will now continue. But it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. My period of solitude will continue but not, but it will not last too much longer. <gasps> Maybe you'll come out of solitude? Ooh. Okay, see you next time! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well in the end. The only thing left to do is return the past permit to Yaimiko. Oh good, you remembered. <laughs> As I did it. Alright, well. I want A in the party. Just cause. It's fun. What is the situation? That was the Shogun. I will say- okay, I will pause right here. I will say, it's very interesting going through the voice lines of Raiden. Cause I have done it a little bit. Because you can kinda tell the difference between the sh I mean, it's obvious in the story quest, but even in the voice lines it's kinda diff- You can kinda tell the difference between the Shogun speaking and A speaking. So, I think, for example... No, I have nothing to share with you at this time. But you... You use elemental energy without the aid of a vision. 
How is this possible? Please, enlighten me. So, you can kind of hear it. I think it's in one of these. Favorite food. Oh, don't listen to the Shogun. Yes. Foolish question. Here. There are only two kinds of foods. Those that must be consumed to nourish the body, and those that harm it. So that was the Shogun talking about food, but then if you click on favorite food, then it's A talking. Oh, don't listen to the Shogun. Desserts. Cavities are no big deal. You can just replace your teeth. Anyway, I just don't see how desserts can pose a serious obstacle to my pursuit of eternity. And that's kind of consistent with a lot of her lo voice lines, where you can tell when the Shogun talks and when A is talking. And it's fun. It's fun to go through these. Like, with Venti. Hmm. That's the name the animal Archon takes these days, is it? That's A. Truth be told, from the very first moment I met him... I could somehow sense that we were not going to get along. Also, he sure can drink a lot. Or about Borax? I had an opportunity to feast with him once. This is also back A. Back when I was just a Kagemusha attending a gathering of the gods. <laughs> so he's made his choice. Be that as it may, I don't believe his story is anywhere near finished yet. Yeah, but then if you click on this one... Foolish question. Yeah. There are only two kinds of things. Those that must be done, and those that must not. Yeah, so it's interesting because the voice lines go back and forth between the Shogun and A. Oh, dear me. That didn't frighten you, did it? After all, you are in the presence of the most supreme and terrifying incarnation of lightning in the whole of Tevat. So that's A, and I'm pretty sure when it rains here, this is the Shogun, I think? Rainfall alone does not constitute a storm. Thunder is required. Yeah, that's the Shogun. So anyway, it's just fun details. I, I, I don't know how many people actually go into the voice signs and stuff, but that's just something fun with Raiden's that I liked going through. So, you know, after getting right in, I went through the voice lines and I was able to, like, distinctly hear those differences. So it, it was kind of fun. Anyway. Yay! Miko! We're back! We had a great trip! Did you know? Well then, you'll have to tell me all about it. And we tell her everything. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. <laughs> what a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. You and the shogun enjoy teasing each other. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. <laughs> so, from what you were saying, it seems that she has finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take? That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not going to force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. I want to ask both of these. So badly. But I want to ask one over the other. <laughs> Take a guess. Okay, fine. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can <laughs> come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I sensed some lies, some deceit. When she said that she didn't need company, I knew it. I mean, it kind of goes back to, I distinctly remember when I got right in, where I was like, screw it, I'll be your friend. <laughs> I forced her to come home. I knew it. What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, 
Just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. Mm. But you don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. Yes. And that's why she is here. Boom! Nice. Nice! Hmm. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Oh heck yeah! Let's talk about all these! Dongo milk. I have no doubt that she immensely enjoyed that drink. I'm sure she was as happy as can be. Sorry, I'm gonna take some water while we go through this. What she really wanted to say was this. How soon do you think you could open a branch in the plain of Euthymia? <laughs> hmm. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Hmm, the puppet, yes. I've also heard that changing a puppet's operating rules is extremely difficult. It's most likely the first time in history anyone has faced this issue. Uh -huh. You can imagine how hard it must be, given that it has successfully flummoxed the wise and powerful A. This is one problem that even the Muso no Hitotachi will not be able to solve. Hmm. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Uh, light novels. Don't you think it's a fun idea? Someone being reborn as the Raiden Shogun? <laughs> That's all that light novels are supposed to be. A bit of fun. For her, though... Yes, probably a little too avant-garde. Ooh, maybe I should commission a sequel. Reborn as Guji Ai. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Uh, I'm good. Ah, oh, that was a fun quest! That was really, really nice! It, it was nice to see that side of A. It was also nice to learn more about the Shogun. Narukami, and please. interesting see, things, I think, because this quest has been out for a while, but I'm curious to see how many of the things that were discussed in this quest will come up in the next quest, if that makes sense. Maybe nothing will come up in the next quest at all, or maybe some things. I don't know. I am interested regardless. Oh, that was a good stream, man. Yeah, I, I, as much as I feel like I could, like, as much as it would be nice to go through another story quest, I think I am going to end it here, because I am still a little tired, but fantastic quest. Very good. Really enjoyed that. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And I'm super excited for the update next week, and I will do my best to stream it next week. We'll probably do the same thing that we did this week, where I would do Hollow Knight on Wednesday and then Genshin on Thursday. Probably. I think. It's such a good quest. Alright, I will... I will head out. I hope you guys have a good time wherever you are. And I hope you can treat yourself and take care of yourself. I don't know. I think I lost my words there at the end. But regardless, I hope you guys have a good day. And thank you for stopping by and watching. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. It's it's great being able to stream and hang out with people. So thank you if you stop by. Even if you are lurking, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.